to CW. CW gets today's smart speaker. Father Simon, Brother Matthew, the chapter of forgiveness. Sister Katie is obviously included in here because she's producing the show and doing, can I just say, everything that works about this show is probably down to Sister Katie. Yes. Thank you. Okay. My confession, says CW, takes place in the summer of 1995. My wife Heather and I had been attending a church for several years. Earlier that year, it had been announced from the pulpit that a young couple in the congregation were to be married in August. We were pleased to hear it was a couple we knew. They were called Bob and Nicky. After the service, I walked up to Bob to congratulate him. Bob saw me approaching and said, CW... That was close. <laughs> I'm so glad I've caught you. Nikki and I would love it if you could video record our wedding ceremony. It was known that I had a digital 8mm video camera and I was often asked to film church events. It will be my pleasure, I replied. Fast forward to the summer. One Sunday morning at church, I noticed Bob handing out invites to his wedding reception. I was looking forward to receiving hours. As the church service came to an end, the people were beginning to leave. It became apparent we weren't going to get an invite. I grumbled all the way home in the car. I can't believe I'm going to be filming Bob and Nicky's wedding ceremony. We're not even invited to their wretched reception afterwards. Heather, with her calm voice of reason, said they probably don't have enough money to invite everybody. Mm -hmm. She suggested that I should consider it my good deed and that I would get my reward in heaven. He's clearly a better person than (laughs) Clearly, (laughs) yeah. The day of the wedding arrived, Heather and I were at the church early. I began filming friends and family of Bob and Nicky as they entered the church. Bob the groom and his best man came through the doors looking dapper. All was going well. I waited a little longer for Nicky the bride to arrive. The wedding car pulled up outside and Nicky emerged looking radiant. It was, I have to say, an eventful 45 minutes, starting with the vicar who smoked his pipe. I must say, I think that's an an unusual event. Mm. Yes. Be with you in a moment. (laughs) A little bit of some Bruno there. Anyway, also there were lots of tears. Bob was handed a handkerchief by his best man and told to pull himself together. (laughs) Just before the vicar pronounced the man and wife, Bob wobbled on his feet and had to sit for a moment. I couldn't help thinking what great memories that they will have when watching this video back. It was worth filming the wedding because of all the mishaps that happened. Maybe I could get 250 quid from You've Been Framed. (laughs) old TV reference. Mm -hmm. Finally, Bob and Nicky were driven away in the wedding car off to their reception venue, which we weren't invited to. Uh I finished recording and put my camera away. Father Simon, this is the part of the tale where I feel it's necessary to confess to my wrongdoing. On leaving the church, Heather and I were talking to a couple that we knew. Unlike us, they had been invited Mm. to the reception. I must admit to feeling a little jealous. As we were getting into our cars, a little pointy-eared, long-tailed devil on my shoulder whispered something in my ear, and stupidly, I decided to repeat it. I shouted out to our friends, See you at the wedding reception, then! Okay. Everyone got into their cars. We drove slowly. They all filed behind. (laughs) (laughs) We drove cleverly. We drove deceptively. Heather and I drove the 20 miles to our house eating our one packet of crisps as we went because as you know we didn't have a wedding breakfast to consume (laughs) in those days we lived in a flat the flats had a courtyard with garages i drove into the yard and pulled up outside our garage when i got out of the car i discovered not one not two but 15 cars (laughs) had followed us the 20 miles to our flat from the church. <laughs> the driver of the first one lowered his window. Is this the reception venue, he said. It's a very posh man indeed. He was. It doesn't look like, where, where are we? <laughs> I gave him a puzzled look. <laughs> no. Derek Nemo again. <laughs> yeah, anyway, go on. <laughs> no, no, this, no, we're not going to the reception. We weren't invited. This is where we live. He then seemed rather annoyed. But we overheard you shouting at the church. You were going to the reception. The belly fool! 
<laughs> you were filming the wedding. We thought you'd be the best person to follow. Well, you would think that, wouldn't you? I said. Anyway, he then asked me for directions. Fortunately, Heather knew the way, but added it would be at least an hour's drive in the opposite direction. <laughs> to say the occupants of the 15 cars were not happy would be an understatement. Therefore, I ask forgiveness from all the relatives of Bob and Nicky who followed us home in convoy on that day in 95. I also ask for forgiveness from, from Bob and Nicky who had to delay the food being served until all their guests had arrived, by which time apparently everyone was grumpy and tending towards the tipsy side of things. But then maybe you should have invited us to your yeah. reception in the first place. CW's tale. I mean, he kind of wasn't his... Well, maybe, I don't know. Let's find out. Uh, Sister Katie, what do you say? Yeah, I don't think that that was CW's fault because to go 20 miles in the wrong direction when maps exist is quite a feat. Mm. So I think that they weren't wrong to assume that CW would probably be going. He didn't... Well, he kind of did intentionally mislead them, but I don't think he expected 15 cars to follow. So, CW, you are forgiven. OK, it's looking good. CW, get smart speaker forgiveness from Katie, brother from another guy. Absolutely, and this is clearly from those days before sat-nav, wasn't it? So everyone would, you would just follow whoever was whoever was going to the reception. I'm absolutely going to forgive, because, and here's the thing, who has the video done of their wedding and not have the video at the reception mm. because spoiler alert no one's ever watching your wedding video <laughs> and particularly the bits in the church no one ever watches them very dull they're only ever going to watch the bits with the dancing where Uncle Bob gets up and the, and the speeches those are the only bits anyone's ever going to watch and they missed out on them because they didn't have CW at the reception so Correct. definitely forgiven